the fact that you step out of your house and return back safely is not by your strength. The fact that you drive on the road safely and come back home is not by your strength. The other people that are dying is not because they were too careless. Other people that get into accidents doesn't mean they were too careless. It is just because God, who is your strength, is on the wheel. The Lord is my strength. Now this phrase is found in the scripture. When the Lord brought this thought to me, I was like, what does it mean when I say the Lord is my strength? And it got me to the place of thinking, what can you do without your strength? What can you do without your capacity, your ability, your vigor? You can't do not anything. Like you can do nothing. So it got me to the place of thinking about the scripture that Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. And I realized that when I say the Lord is my strength, it means in life, I cannot do anything meaningful unless the Lord is in it. It means I need the Lord for every single detail of my life. I do not just need him in my spiritual life. I do not just need him about my emotions. I need him for everything physical, spiritual, and so wise, which is all in all, in him I live, in him I move, in him I have my being. In today's video, I want to talk about finding strength through faith. Now, scripture has made us know clearly that we do not walk by sight, but we walk by faith. We are not walking by what we see. We are not walking by what we can perceive about our environment, but we live by faith. They just shall live by faith. Now, when we talk about the aspect of finding strength, to a farmer, a farmer finds strength in his equipment, in his tools, because without these tools, he cannot do meaningful cultivation to expect a productive harvest. So he needs the right atmosphere. He needs the right soil to be able to plant and expect a productive harvest. Now, for us as believers, the best strategy in life is not in us, depending in our effort, in our ability, in what we can do, by ourselves. It's not about what I can do by myself or what you can do by yourself. It is about me and you depending on the Lord as our strength. The best strategy in life is coming to the place of knowing that my strength is found in God. I read this scripture in Psalms 18 where David was saying, by my God I leap through a wall. By my God I run through a troop. It means he was saying it was through God, all the victories I gained, all the good things that I was able to do, it was God. It was not my strength, it was not me. Now, it gets me to my first point of saying, human strength is weak in the fact that it is limited. All of us as humans, we have what we call strength physically, what we term, this is my strength, oh, I have strength in this area, strength in that area, and the third. And somehow we identify our weakness also, but I can be bold to say in life for real, what you call your strength is not really a strength. Yeah, I dare to say so. Because when I read Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11, I realized that when the Bible says that the strongest warrior does not always win a battle. In the physical, I would feel like when you are strong, you should win all the battles. I would feel like when you are smart, you should always have something for you. Now let me read that scripture in Ecclesiastes. I have observed something else under the sun. The fastest runner doesn't always win the race. And the strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle. The wise sometimes go hungry and the skillful are not necessarily wealthy. And those who are educated don't always lead successful lives. It is all decided by chance, by being in the right place at the right time. Now, looking at this scripture squarely, I realized that all the things that I would have regarded as the strength physically is not, is not a strength. Because if it is a strength that works, it should then be what makes someone gain success or become productive. The fastest runner doesn't win the race. Then why are you the fastest runner, for God's sake? The strongest warrior doesn't win the battle. Then what is the essence? The wise sometimes go hungry. Oh, I thought because you're wise, you should always have food to eat. Because your wisdom should allow you to strategize well. This goes to show that depending on yourself or on your human ability will fail you. Because your strength is weak. It is limited. It goes to tell that skillful people do not always get wealthy. 
And I thought about it and I realized that there are so many people that have a lot of skills, but they are not the wealthiest. They are so good at their craft. There are so many good musicians that they are not at the top receiving their awards. There are so many good people in different areas of work who are really the engine room of whatever they are doing in their industry, in their sector, but they are not the ones who are at the top. Then what happens? It goes to tell that this strength is not really a strength. It takes the Lord. Being at the right place at the right time, which is a Kairos time, God opportune time, a good time that God places you in a good moment for a good opportunity. And that is not a product of my strategy. That is not a product of your strategy. That is a product of God being your strength. Because he is the one to orchestrate your life and put you at the right place at the right time. No man can do that. No man at all. And again, for you to know that the strength of man, whatever you can count as strength, is weak. Scripture says, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. And this is what I call small strength. Small strength is a strength that is dependent on a man's effort. But once you redirect your strength from your effort, from your ability as a man, because you are limited. Do you know tomorrow? Do you know what's going to happen in the next hour? Do you know what's in the future? If you don't know, then you are weak. Because if you would know all these things, it will help with your strategy to gain the right thing. And I'm not trying to talk down on strategy. It is good to plan your life. The scripture says, as much as you plan, keep your plan with eyes open so that the Lord can direct your steps. Hallelujah. The second thing I will talk about is that the Lord is the source of my strength. Now, I do not have strength in and of myself. The Lord is my source. Just like I would have a charger and a phone, my charger is like faith. It is the means through which my phone is being powered up. But then the source is not the charger. The source is the electric, whatever, it is, if it's solar generator or whatsoever is generating the light for my phone to be able to get charged. But my charger is like faith. So coming to life, I have faith in God and then he is the source. So my faith now is the means through which I connect with God and then I am being filled to full. I am being strengthened. Scripture says in Psalm 20, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. And I would add some few words there. Some people trust in money. Some people trust in their skills. Some people trust in their hustle. And the truth is, all these things will fail. All these things will fail you. But then, if you trust in the Lord, there is no place of failure in God. Scripture says here, no king succeeds with a big army alone. No warrior wins with brute strength. Horsepower is not the answer. No one gets by on muscles or muscle alone. Watch this. God's eye is on those who respect him. The ones who are looking for his love. Is ready to come to their rescue in bad times. And this is to hammer on the points I just made that the Lord is the source of my strength. When I say the Lord is my strength, it means I need God for everything. I need God for every breath that I take. I need God for every step that I take outside. That is why there is a blessing in Deuteronomy 28 that says, in your going out and your coming in. Which means the fact that you step out of your house and return back safely is not by your strength. The fact that you drive on the road safely and come back home is not by your strength. If other people that are dying is not because they were too careless. Other people that get into accidents doesn't mean they were too careless. It is just because God, who is your strength, is on the wheel. Even though you are the one driving, but he is on the wheel. An infinite God, an unseen God, who is with you. Who helps even when you sleep off the steering, he helps you divert. Look, I want you to really get this. Nobody on their own can ever get through life alone without God. And the fact is that we can say this a hundred and one times, but most times if we don't get to a place of faith, of connecting our faith to knowing that God, you are my strength, you won't find that strength readily available for you. The scripture says that God is a ready help in times of trouble but then if there is help ready for you if you don't ask or call for it 
Will you get it? So to get some practical points on this part of saying the Lord is the source of my strength, I can get to tell you that the joy of the Lord is your strength, which is that joy that is present with you in the midst of chaos. That is a strength. That is your strength. I still got joy in chaos. I still have joy when things are not going well. The peace of the Lord is your strength. Like, it is not the absence of trouble. It is not the absence of problems. But it is me knowing that I am safe. There is an everlasting arm all around me that keeps me safe. That is me knowing I have shalom. There is welfare for me in God. That is what the peace of God means. There is prosperity for me in God. There is safety for me in God. That is the summation of the shalom of God saying I have peace. It is not just the peace of mind like, you know, what we just be like, I'm calm, you know. It's not that. It is this no this knowing that I have welfare, I have safety, I have prosperity in God. And also the presence of the Lord is your strength. So this is where you find God as your source of strength in life. Because you need his joy, you need his peace, you need his presence to walk through life daily. Now the next point of finding strength through faith is that the Lord is responsible for me. This thought came to me and it was as if God downloaded it and I was late to know that my enemy is not my responsibility. My challenges are not my responsibility. The things I am struggling with is not my responsibility. My adversity is not my responsibility. They are the Lord's responsibility because He is my strength. For me to go through any challenge, I need my strength. For me to go through any adversity, I need strength. And when I say the Lord is my strength, it means I have relinquished this control. I have relinquished this fight to him. This is the fight for the Lord. This battle belongs to God. It was as if the picture of David going against Goliath. And Goliath told David, am I a dog? Am I a dog that you are coming at me with, you know, this sling and stone? And then... It said a lot of, you know, mean words to David. But David replied to him, I am not coming to you by myself as you can see me. But I am coming to you or against you with the name of the Lord of hosts, whom you have defied. So he was literally saying, this battle is not mine. I'm not the one fighting you. The Lord is the one fighting. The Lord is the one fighting this battle. That's why David did not engage any of his strength. It took just one stone to pull Goliath down. It had nothing to do with how strong David was, how strategic he was, how wise he was, but it took the Lord. So this is me telling you the responsibility for every battle and every fight you have in life is not for you. The Lord is responsible for every of those things. By the time you say the Lord is my strength, it means everything that needs strength in your life should not be based on your effort. Everything that meets your strength in your life should not be based on your ability. It should be based on His ability. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It means I come to a place of always depending. I come to a place of always looking. Like scripture says, looking unto Jesus, which means I have a responsibility. My responsibility is to look to Jesus. My responsibility is to look up to God. My responsibility is to trust and be pleasing to him, be pleasing in his sight. His responsibility is to keep me safe. His responsibility is to protect me. His responsibility is to not let me be hurt. So whenever I get through troubles, I need to be reminded. And I need you to be reminded also, the challenge that you have right now is not your, your responsibility. Give God's battle back to him. You have said he is your strength, then give it to him. The enemy you feel you have is not your responsibility. Your enemy is God's responsibility because your strength has to deal with that. Your only responsibility is to look to Jesus, look to the Lord and be pleasing to him. And scripture says that when your way is pleasing to God, God himself will make even that enemy to be at peace with you. You can come to a point of also saying, my lack is not my responsibility. I know I am going through a lack right now in my life, but that is not my responsibility. Look to the Lord in trust and know that my strength is the one that will bring provision to me and the Lord is my strength. So you can come to the scripture that says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack anything. 
So it means I have relinquished this to the Lord. I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to stay here whining. I'm not going to stay here complaining. I'm not going to stay in this place just thinking, asking questions. God, when are you going to come through? Or will you come through? But I'm going to stay here trusting, just staying confident, knowing that he's going to come through. He is my strength. God is my strength. The Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The peace of the Lord is my strength. The presence of the Lord is my strength. When I get into worship, when I get into a place of prayer, when I get into communing with God, I find strength that I wake up every day and keep going in life. And the Bible says, They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. It means in the natural, when I run, I lose my breath <laughs> because I'm running. When I walk for too long, I could feel like fainting. But scripture says, when you wait on the Lord, the walk of life is now being propelled by the grace of God at ease. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this video is ministering to you and has ministered to you. If it has, let me know in the comment section which part of this video has blessed you. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. Your like means a lot to this channel because it is going to spread this video to other people to watch. So do not forget to like and share to someone. Thank you. And let's meet in the comment section. Encourage one another in the comment section with your story, with the things you've learned from this, and with what God has laid in your heart as you were watching. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye.